can give them even more depth and give the tag team division a face moving into this new era. So I could see the Motor City Machine Guns debuting. But that's all that I have really as far as any debuts or surprises. But I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they do on the CW. But I want to know what everybody feels as far as NXT on the CW network this Tuesday, I believe. Um, yeah. October 1st. Yeah, I'm super ex- October 1st. So I'm super excited about that. Let us know how you feel in the comments. But we are moving on. So going back to AEW and going back to its world champion, Swerve Strickland, he actually had an appearance on The Breakfast Club, and he talked about a bunch of things. But one of those things that he was talking about was that WWE was trying to poach him away from AEW and to sign to WWE. His language was more so like they contacted his representatives and asked him for his availability. Um, Do you think that... uh, that number one, that do you believe that this is true? And number two, do you think that Swerve will eventually go back to WWE one day in spite of the fact that he he is experiencing the success that he's experiencing now? Uh, I think it's true. Uh, a lot of people just get, you know, enamored with the fact that Triple H is, you know, Papa H or whatever you call him, be booking. Uh, it's been pretty good the past couple of months, but at the same time, he's doing essentially what Tony Khan used to do. That's just like get all the talent. Same thing Vince used to do. Same thing that Ted Turner and Eric Bischoff used to do. It's dog. It's we watch sports. We watch real sports. No disrespect to pro wrestling. It's a sport, but we watch basketball. Like they just traded Cat to the Knicks, and he's been with that team since 2016. And this is after they showed a picture of him saying, "Welcome to training camp." That's just the nature of the business when it comes to sports. Hell, jobs. You might not get traded. You might get fired and picked up by another job. That's just how it will. So I think it's something to that. It's a merit to that. But I think eventually he does go back if Mm. they match his price. Because now, you know, yesterday's price is not today's price. So his asking price is way higher. I'm pretty sure he's getting damn near a million dollars. Because I will say that about Tony Khan. He don't mind paying you hell. Uh, Soraya or Soraya, she just got it, it's rumored that she's making about 500 grand a year and she only Ooh. wrestled probably two times a year, if that. So she's gonna have that match with Jamie Hayter and then we might not see her again. So I can imagine Swerve who's there every week and how much he's getting paid as well. But if he doesn't go back, you know, I understand you don't need to go back now, especially if y'all about to get a TV deal. Why go back when you can make the same money right. and do whatever you want to do? I agree 100%. Not only do you not have to go back, you're being featured exactly how you want to be featured on the program that you're on. I have to take back the statement, they're AEW champion. He's not the world champion anymore, obviously. But he's still considered a main eventer. He's still considered a top guy. He's in a top guy program with Hangman Adam Page at the moment, even though he's been off of TV for a couple weeks um, after his loss at All Out. But... Like, if I'm Swerve Strickland, like, I'm being presented the way that I want to be presented. I'm doing the things that I want to do. I'm getting paid the money that I want to be paid. And apparently there was a rumor saying that it was above market value, whatever that means. It just sounds like whoever didn't want to pay him just didn't want to pay him that much money. Um, But I think that he's in the position to be. And on top of that, MVP just made his little debut on Dynamite. We can assume that Bobby Lashley is soon to follow. Um... And whatever happens from there happens from there. Uh, But it's just one of those things where it's like there's no reason for Swerve Strickland to leave. He's he's a top he's he's a top guy. He's getting top guy money. The travel schedule is less and he's probably getting paid more than if he were to go to WWE. So I you know, I mean, if business is right and, you know, they they sign him, I'm pretty sure WWE is going to have to offer him more money. And they're going to have to offer him, like, the Cody treatment is when he comes back. Because, like, it's one of those, he leaves WWE, he left, he raised up his stock. And now, like you said, yesterday's price is not today's price. So they're going to have to do a little bit more to retain him and to obtain him, for that matter. But I think it was a very, very interesting appearance and a very, very interesting move that WWE would try to make a move on him. 
Thank you guys so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can stay up to date with all upcoming videos and events pertaining to Culture 316.